Okay, here's a classic sign for the uh, Tiki Inn. And then there's a restaurant next to it called the Pinecone Restaurant. Hello, I am in Peru and this deplorable looking building was the Tiki Inn. I have no idea when it was built, but it is closed now. And I think this like whole swath of land here is slated for redevelopment here. There's a lot of doors open, a lot of glass shattered here. Let's see here, no trespassing. Yeah, look at this, there's weeds, it's been vandalized. Okay, so I got into here, just a little disclaimer. I am just leaving footprints, I am not taking anything. We are just here to explore something that's not, that's definitely not going to be anymore. It's my disclaimer. I'm not going to try going through there because there's broken glass. Eggnog. No, don't want to know how long that's been sitting for. Again, this is the Tiki Inn in Peru. Sits along Interstate 80. Again, I'm just leaving footprints. Urbex rule number one is do not take anything, do not vandalize anything, nothing. Okay, and then there's a sign behind them trees where it would say Tiki Inn. It's an old school sign too. Okay, I'm going to get in the car and head toward the front. Okay, let's go take a look at the uh, Pinecone restaurant that's uh, vacant.
See, it says pine cone. They left a sign. Kind of a classic look in here. That's that case right there. That's what have been where like maybe the desserts were or something. Oh, this is a classic here. There's a clock up there. What time was it? I think it said either quarter after 7 or 20, 25 to 3. I guess that's when the clock died. Looks like the shades are down here. All right, that's a look at the uh, restaurant that accompanies that accompanied this hotel here. I had to leave and come back because I saw a car that was like sitting right here and there was a guy coming out of the car so I don't know what he was up to or anything so and you know in these small towns I mean people get nosy and everything too so Get all the weeds and everything. I like the architecture of that of the building. It kind of has I forgot what the style of that's called, but you find it like in Germany, Sweden, you know all those countries that are kind of in that area. Kind of watching my back here. Okay, I'm not going to go all the way in here because you know there's like mold, asbestos, broken glass. You don't know if anybody's in here. I did go into the motel style rooms though. 
So. All sorts of open rooms here. See, I don't know the structural integrity of this uh, building here, but I'm not even going to try going on up them stairs and going onto that balcony. Looks like there's people here to maintain it, though. So, I guess they're not really letting it go that badly. Okay, so all the rooms are going to pretty much look like. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. God bless you guys. Again, if you're an urban explorer, you know the rules. We, do, we only leave footprints. We, uh, do, we do not steal things. We're not here to vandalize. We're just here to document. So that's my disclaimer on behalf of all the explorers. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe like comment and share god bless you guys continue shopping at your local businesses continue shopping at your local mall